yeah that's where that you didn't know where the story was going that's where the story's going sis god whatever i don't know i don't know if that was god or the devil oh, real hot girl shit My name is Ari Kari and today's another story time. I do story times very often on this channel. I do actually have a playlist of story times which I will link in the eye above as well as link it down in the description box below so definitely catch up on my previous story times and if you like today's video don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and turn on your post notifications because I will be uploading all vlogmas long. All right y'all so <laughs> I said if y'all request it, I'll give you the story time. So this is my messy story time about um, how I came to her as a woman. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. And what about it? Yep, I definitely did. <laughs> it should not, and don't regret it. <laughs> So if you'd like to hear this mess of story time, honey, definitely leave me a like um, and comment some other videos you'd like to see from me down below. But let's just go ahead and get into it. So four score and like three years ago in 2019, um, I had moved to New York City for an internship. If you haven't seen my other messy story time, go ahead and watch that one. I will link it in the eye above because um, that explains how we got to where we were at. Um, but I was living in New York. I had an internship and I was, you know, on Tinder dating, meeting the girls because what else am I going to do? And that was my first time being in a city with so many gay people. That's kind of what pushed me to move to Atlanta not to give y'all too much backstory but like living in charlotte the gay scene is very small it's very very tiny everybody's done known everybody everybody's done dated everybody so because of that it was always hard for me to date in charlotte which is why i would always date women that lived outside of my city so moving to new york where there's just so many people to choose from i mean literally it's the biggest city in the country um i'm like oh shit like let me get on here let me start swiping let me meet girls let me have a roster let me be multi-dating um which i support multi-dating <laughs> so i started dating this girl and she's like oh you know i'm from the south like you she was from chattanooga tennessee but she had recently relocated to philadelphia i don't know how i literally don't know how we matched up because she was like in Brooklyn for a day and then I was like in Queens for a day I don't know how the fuck because I was like in Long Island and then she pulled she was there when I was swiping so I swiped on her but like she was literally in New York City for like 12 hours and then went back to Philadelphia and somehow we matched um the universe god whatever I don't I don't know if that was god or the devil <laughs> we're still trying to figure that one out um so anyway we match whatever her and I start talking around the time that her and I start talking is when I told y'all I went to that party and all that messy shit was going on again if y'all ain't seen that story time you should watch it um but her and I hit it off the most and after that point even when I had to leave New York City to go back to Charlotte every month I was going to Philadelphia to visit her and if you followed me for a long time you would see on my Instagram that I was visiting her you actually probably have seen her if you followed me for a long time on Instagram you know what she looked like <laughs> um because I was going to Philadelphia every single month in 2019 from summer to December like every month just going to Philadelphia but fast forward right this is 2019 this is fall 2019 this is winter 2019 i'm graduating college so me and her have been you know going back and forth in our dating because i wanted a relationship and she said she didn't um which the little tip for me to you was someone says they don't want a relationship they don't want a relationship with you people who want to commit will commit to you and if they don't it's because they don't want to commit to you because they'll commit three months later to somebody else and we gonna get to that yeah that's where that you didn't know where the story was going that's where the story's going sis anyway so it's 2019 it's fall and this is this is what you know broke the camel's back bitch i'm graduating college 
I have been in college for four and a half years. I have busted my ass. I've never had a summer off. I have always been doing college courses, doing college classes. I never took a break. I was always, always, always in school and I worked two jobs. I was busting my ass and still doing YouTube, busting my ass to finally graduate college and this bitch wouldn't come to my graduation. Literally, we just going back and forth. She's, uh, she's like, oh, you know, I'll go. And then she was like, but I don't want you to expect anything because we're not together. I don't want to, you know, basically it was kind of like Toby and Fat. Low key, I did that video on Toby and Fat, which editing me, if I remember, I'll put it in the eye above as well. How he just kept saying like, I don't want you like that. I don't want to be with you. But then just she, you know, being a pick me, waited to the last minute. Well, bitch, I guess I was a pick me too. <laughs> so... I kept trying to convince her and then she was like fine I'll go and then I was like you know what you don't have to go it's fine but then at the last minute it was like two weeks before I'm like why don't you just come like I'll even pay I sent her money for the ticket I'm like why I'll even pay for the ticket like just come mind you I'm broke as fuck in college working 15 hours a week so whatever little money I had I saved it and gave it to her for a ticket but it's whatever cool don't matter so she texts me two days before my graduation, two days of 48 hour notice and says, I'm not going to come. Gonna so after that, I was like, we, you know, we can't date no more. And she was like, yeah, I don't think it's healthy, whatever. She didn't say I don't think it's healthy, but she just agreed. Um, so I was like, well, you know, I'm gonna need some time to myself before like, we you know become friends which i don't know why i thought that was a good idea but before we could become friends um so i end up graduating i go to california first for my graduation and then i go to st lucia and i drunk call her while i'm in st lucia that was the drunkest i've ever been like y'all i woke up with my wig on the floor sand in my butt and like i'm surprised i was even breathing or conscious like that was the most drunk i've i blacked out i've never blacked out before i blacked out thank god i was with my cousin um when all that happened and you know i drunk called her and she was just like oh i hope you like get around your friends soon because you sound pretty drunk like but she wasn't really like checking on me like making sure i'm okay like she was just like oh i hope your friends are there to take care of you like why was this the person I wanted to be with? I don't know. It says a lot about how I felt about myself. Yeah, it's we're, we're going to take it there. It says I needed therapy. Yeah, it says I needed more self-awareness. Yeah, it says I needed more self-love. Yeah, because <laughs> look at the bitch that I'm dating. Like clearly who I'm dating is a reflection of how I feel about myself. Let's talk about it. If this is what I am attracting, it says uh, it says a lot about how much I value myself. So cool, 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 cool. So all this happens, right? 2019. All of 2020, for the most part, um, the first like six months of 2020, her and I would just speak randomly. But I'm back outside. I'm back dating. I'm back multi-dating. I'm back talking to different people. I'm back living my life. And every like 90 days, her and I would have a conversation. Every 90 days, her and I would speak. Every 90 days, her and I would like talk a little bit. And it was so funny because she very much gave like, I don't want to be with you, but I also don't want you with anyone else. And every time her and I would talk, every 60 to 90 days, I would always ask her like, oh, are you dating anyone or talking to anybody? And she would always say like, oh, no, I'm just chilling. No, I'm chilling. No, I'm just chilling. No, I'm chilling. Don't believe a nigga when they tell you they're chilling. Woman or man, don't believe nobody when they tell you they're chilling because they're chilling with somebody else. <laughs> so then tell me why on Instagram in August, because my friend, God bless, you know, Beatrice, before she passed, this, this had happened. So in August 2020, I go on Instagram and tell me why she posts up a girl. Mind you, this is the same person. Now I'm getting triggered. This is the same person who never posted me up with my music. Y'all, I turned out a, a record deal while I was with her. I was doing shows while I was with her. I graduated college while I was with her. She ain't never do, even on my birthday, she ain't post me up, say my dog, happy birthday. Like, she has never publicly claimed me, but you're claiming this woman, even though you've been chilling for the last however many months. Oh, oh, really? Cause I have a hard time believing you met this girl yesterday. So she posts the girl up and I'm not going to say in the word, word to Aaliyah J, she wasn't ugly, but she wasn't me. And here's the thing about my, my ex, right? I was a, I'm a cute girl, 
but I was coming into my bad bitchery when I dated her. And this was a problem for us because like, if I want to wear that Fashion Nova outfit, I'm gonna wear that Fashion Nova outfit. And I'm probably gonna get attention in that Fashion Nova outfit. And I like to have fun. Yeah, I'm gonna shake my ass. Don't let the DJ call me on stage. Oh, I'm definitely shaking his ass. Oh yes, I'm definitely having a good time. Oh yes, I'm definitely pouring shots in people's mouth. Like, when I go out, I go out to enjoy myself. And for her, it was very hard dating someone who intentionally or unintentionally becomes the center of attention and that's not m on me because I don't go out of my way to do that I just go out of my way to have fun and people want to be around people who have fun I think that that's a that's a normal thing that happens um but for her it would always like we would always argue about that because she'd be like you really gonna wear that you where are you putting that makeup on where are you going are you really about to wear that outside? Like she, I could tell that it made her a little bit insecure, which is fine. Like I get it cause it's not for everybody, but bitch, I'm gonna wear what I want to wear. Um, when I'm seeing this new girl that she's dating, the girl, she's still sexy. Like she posts pictures, you know, showing her body, but, <laughs> and it's not about the other girl, which is why I'm trying to be as nice as possible. I'm just saying when I caught that screenshot because I, I saw her post up the girl I screenshot immediately and I sent it to all my homegirls and they were like this is the choice that she's making and I'm like but y'all forget she was insecure dating me you know and got thank god <laughs> all this happened before I was on television or doing tiktok or like really popping because she dev oh my god she couldn't handle none of that when I tell you she would be cussing me out every day probably um but yeah so Move it on, right? Again, I'm not gonna judge the girl that she was dating because it's not about her. But like I said, she's not ugly. She's just not me. <laughs> she's not the, you know, there's a difference between the girl and the it girl. She's not the it girl. And that's okay because being the it girl is not everybody's cup of tea. It's not everybody's desire. And it's not what everybody wants. No one, not everybody wants to be getting attention. You know what I mean? And even then, a lot of the, the girls that get attention are bitchy and rude. I'm a nice person. So I think that's also why I get attention because I'm friendly. You know, I was raised that you, you say hello to everybody. You're kind to everybody. Whatever. Anyway, the girl isn't me. So, <laughs> but the girl's getting claimed. So clearly the girl got something going for herself because it because I wasn't getting fucking publicly claimed at all. So, <laughs> cool, 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 cool. So August hits, I see that, I peep that, you know, it's the girl's birthday. She posts the girl up on her page. But again, I've never been publicly claimed. Love that for me. Um, September hits, my best friend, as y'all know, Beatrice, passes away. She was murdered. Emotional, um, an emotional experience. And me and my ex hadn't talked. Like, we just hadn't talked, whatever. And then October hits, October 2020. And she messages me and she's like, did you block me? <laughs> On Instagram, she randomly DMs me and is like, did you block me? And I'm like, hey. And she was like, hey, LOL. So did you block me like really on me because I blocked her yes I did block you you're in a relationship we don't need to speak no more and you're in a public relationship I didn't get none of that shit but cool so I was like yeah and she was like why would you block me da 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 like I just want to check on you see how you're doing because I told you it's a routine every third every 60 to 90 days she hits me up or we talk to each other you know what I mean which is really just her way of keeping me around without having to put in any effort. Again, it's very Toby and fat. The pick me's, I get you, girl. I understand. I just won't do it anymore. <laughs> so um, she is just talking to me and I'm like, well, you had a girl. I thought you had a girl. And she was like, what are you talking about? I ain't got no girl. Y'all, I dropped the screenshot in the message. I was like, boom, screenshot. Um, what's this? <laughs> And she was like, you screenshot it now? Notice she ain't say no. Notice she ain't deny it. She just says, oh, you screenshot it now. And that's when I knew, like, you full of shit. But again, because my heart is dumb, I was like, call my phone right now. You're unblocked. But you got to call my phone right now. So she calls me. We talk a little bit. And I could tell, like, she wants like to date me again like she's on me like she's on my body you know like she's like oh you know I've been missing you blah 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 you know I of course I want you to be happy but I, I don't want you with no other nigga da, 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 da. <laughs> and I'm just like we'll see because I also think too in that year span of us you know not being together but being together 
you know the on and off bullshit the her talking to me but not giving me nothing whatever I learned a lot I, I, I grew self-esteem y'all I grew self-worth y'all um and I think too I grew a backbone where it's like I don't deserve this so I'm not gonna stay here so sorry my voice is getting hoarse this is how I know <clears throat> I need to whew, release it so She's steady talking to me and her and I start like basically dating again, which is the dumbass in me. Um, we start dating again because she's the only person until now that I had met that I like loved. Like I genuinely love, this is the first woman I ever loved. I am very confident in saying that. I'm very genuine in saying that. I loved her so much y'all. Like I would go to the ends of the earth for the, I'd go to hell and jail about you. Yeah. <laughs> Summer Walker. Yes. We all have been there. Um, so I was like, I have to give her another chance just to see. But because I had been through so much, I had been multi-dating, my self-worth had changed where I feel good about myself. Also, just being real, like my best friend dying, it put a lot of things into perspective for me because she spent so much of her life on hold for a man. I will never put anything in my life on hold for anybody. So as her and I are dating I keep trying to ask her like so what about that girl though and she's like oh you know me and her are not together like the, I'm, I don't have no girlfriend but blah, blah 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 but what she doesn't say is like I don't deal with her no more so I try to get it out of her I'm like so you you're not dealing with her and she was like I mean she's there but she's about to move to to Miami and da 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 and in my mind I'm just like so you talking to her still probably fucking her still and then you on the phone with me after no so in my mind it was a specific weekend right her and i are talking and she just ghosts me for the whole weekend like i'm texting her she's not answering I'm calling her she's not answering and in my mind i'm like she's probably with that girl she's probably still with that girl not knowing that she's telling me it was always me i was the one she really wanted she wishes things could have been different because she sees a future with me she would marry me she would have a family with me all the shit that i want to hear hello especially as the one that was behind the scenes the one that wasn't getting claimed the one that was always in the background like that girl probably got to meet her family because it looked like one of the pictures looked like a family function i she never met my family and i only met one of her cousins that's it i never met her mom i never met her family you know what i mean um i met her friends but still like I was always the secret, you know what I mean? Versus this girl is literally for the world. Like everyone knows that you're with her. So in my mind, I'm like, you know what? I'm over this shit. So I screenshot one of our messages where she's saying it was always me. She did. she wanted me from the beginning. She wants a family. She wants marriage. All the shit that, you know, I want to hear. And bitch, I sent it to the girl. I sent it to the other girl. Yeah, I did yeah is that my proudest moment no but i did it yeah and you know what i sent with the message if i can find it it was so long ago i doubt it's i don't i don't know because i feel like in all this happening i deleted it but if i can find it i'll show it to y'all i literally said please take her back because <laughs> i can't deal with the bullshit no more i word for word please take her back i don't know what y'all got going on but i can't deal with the bullshit <laughs> Why am I so bold? Not me telling the main girl as the the side girl, I guess, like, please take her back. Because I can't deal with this. You, That's all you, sis. You have a, you, you know what? She has a different strength than I do. Because I can't deal with this bullshit. I can't deal with this motherfucker lying in my face. You, you have a different strength than me, ma. And I'm proud of you for that. And on top of that, maybe she brings out something in her that I don't. Maybe she brings out a side of her that I can't. So ha, this is you, this is you, sis. That's all you, you got it. That's, hold it. <laughs> so I send that to her. And of course, that's when my ex bloat like is pissed. She blocks me everywhere. And she ends up sending me a voicemail. Um, basically just letting me know like you're blocked. We're never going to speak again. Like you really bothered me with this one which is fine like i i expected that but i'll play it for y'all so y'all can hear 
<clears throat> but yes, this is how the story ends. Um, she ends up sending me this voice ma uh, voicemail. She calls me from her friend's phone, not her phone, because she blocked me everywhere. Like Instagram, the phone, everything blocked me. Um, and you know, this is the voicemail that she sent me after she blocked me. Obviously, you're out of your mind. Um, this weekend, I was busy. You don't own me. I don't have to answer every second call. Anything I have between me and you is between me and you. Everything that I said is the truth. So you going to her with some little girl shit. The stuff you pull is exactly the same reason why we stopped talking before. You actually ruined any chance of us being friends, being cool, being anything. You're immature and you're doing a lot of little girl shit. And you say you're a grown woman, but you ain't acting like it. Keep in mind, kitchen is more about than just being seductive, trying to try to uh, turn me on all the time. Like, I don't, I don't know what you want from me. Uh, honestly, I'm done. I'm done with it. Don't hit her up. Don't hit me up. It's weird that you even screenshot her shit. Now you gonna reach out to her on some weird shit. We barely talked for but a week, bro, and you already on some old shit. Same shit. We stopped talk, talking for it. Uh, everything, you blocked on everything, so don't worry about reaching out Um, I just wanted to speak my piece. How good that? Yep, well, that's where the story ends. Um, after that, her and I never spoke again. Um, I'm, you know, probably still blocked to this day, but I also don't have a desire to speak to her. So, you know, I'm not mad <laughs> if I am still blocked. But yeah, so that is the time that I came to her as a woman. Um, after that uh, voicemail, her and I never spoke again. Um, that happened on the 12th of October because I saw the little, you know, with voicemails, you could see the date. Um, I got offered the TV show a week after that two weeks after that. So I'm not like, I feel like the universe works in mysterious ways. I know deep down in my heart, if I was still dating her and I got offered the TV show, I wouldn't have taken it. Um, because one, it's a dating show and I told y'all she's a little insecure. So if I really told her like, no, I'm, you know, I'm going on this show, but like, you know how I feel about you. She would be fucking pissed and be, you know, cussing my ass out, lighting me up. <laughs> but also, I know realistically just the exposure of me being on TV would be too much for her and just the exposure of me being on TikTok would be too much for her like I genuinely think everything happens for a reason and even though that is not my proudest moment you know going to I guess the main girl as the side girl and being like take her back because I can't deal with the bullshit um I still feel like I'm glad that that happened because it forced her out of my life. That's one thing that I wasn't strong enough to do. I was not strong enough to walk away from her because I told you I really like I really loved her. So to me, I just felt like, oh, well, if I walk away, then I'll never know. But the truth of the matter is, I don't think her and I were compatible for a lot of different reasons. Um, and I know deep down in my heart, like, there's more to life than this. Like, there's more to love than this. And that's why, like I told y'all, after my best friend died, that changed so much in me. Because I realized, like, she put so much of her life on hold for men. Like, so much of her life she missed out on because she was trying to appease men or appease, you know, her boyfriend or appease her new man or appease... I'm not doing that. If there's an opportunity, I'm taking it. If I want to move, I'm moving. If I want to be on a show, I'm being on a show. If I want to release music, I'm releasing music. If I want to do TikTok, I'm doing TikTok. If I want to do Vlogmas, I'm doing Vlogmas. Like, I'm not letting the, someone else keep me from what I really want. And what I feel like is going to help me in my career, in my life. So, that's it. You know, moral of the story... I don't know. I don't know what the moral of this story is. I guess love yourself, therapy, because who you date is a very big reflection on how you feel about yourself. I promise you. Um, but yeah, if y'all liked today's video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in my next story time. Bye!